So this is the set four of the important MCQ questions and answers on machine learning series. And I hope you have already attempted the set one, set two, and set T. And if you have not already, then you'll find a link for those series in the description box below. Go and check them. And if you are new to this channel, then don't forget to subscribe this channel and share with your friends. So let's start today's session. And I hope you already know the rules that after every question, I'll pause for a few seconds. Within who is you try to attempt the questions and after the session, you will calculate your score and your post post your score through comment. Okay, so let's start. So today's first question is the tax of inferring a model from leveled training data is called option A unsupervised learning, option B supervised learning. So guys, actually with these questions, I will also try to explain the important terminologies of machine learning and that will be very helpful for you to prepare for the competitive examinations like UGC and TNET, GED and ISRO scientist examinations and other examinations of this standard. Even you will find these questions to be asked in interviews also. Okay, so let's start. So, what is the answer of this question? The task of inferring a model from level training data. So I hope you got it. The answer will be option B that is supervised learning. Guys do remember that when I say supervised learning, this means there is a supervisor, but by the term supervisor, actually we mean that about that we have knowledge about the data, about the data set. So knowledge about the data set is possible when we have labeled data set. So in case of supervised learning, we have some labeled training data. Clear? So moving to the next question. Next question asks, discriminating between spam and ham emails is a classification tax. True or false? Option A says true and option B says false. Okay, so your time started now. Well, so you know, discriminating between spam and ham emails, of course, this is a classification tax. Okay, so answer will be option A. Okay, we are trying to classify the emails into two different classes, spam and ham emails. So that's why this is a classification tax. Question number three, adaptive system management is option A, it uses machine learning techniques. Here program can learn from past experience and adapt themselves to new situations. Option B says computational procedure that takes some value as input and produces some value as output. And option C says science of making machines perform tasks that would require intelligence when performed by humans. And option D says none of the above, none of this. So your time started now. Always try to listen to me, guys. Whenever you go for some unknown question, when you find some means unseen question, always try to find the meanings of the terms involved in that question. Okay, so in this question, here the main term we are focusing is adaptive. So adaptive means what? Adapting some new things. Okay, some new kind of environment, some new situations like that. So from that, you can correctly guess what will be the answer. If you uh, don't see this question previously, so you can guess it correctly. So I have already given the hint. So you can answer this now. And answer to this question is option A. That is, it uses machine learning techniques and here programs can learn from past experience and adapt themselves to the new situation. That is adaptive system management. So here it tries to adapt themselves to new situation on the basis of past experience. So that is our adaptive system management in machine learning. Clear. So if you have any doubt, then you, the comment section is open for you. Do ask me. Okay. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सेल्फ ऑर्गेनाइजिंग मैप्स आर एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ऑप्शन ए अनसुपरवाइज लर्निंग ऑप्शन बी सुपरवाइज लर्निंग एंड ऑप्शन सी री इनफोर्समेंट लर्निंग एंड ऑप्शन डी मिसिंग डेटा इम्पुटेशन योर टाइम स्टार्टेड नो एंड द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑफ कोर्स ए दैट इज अनसुपरवाइज लर्निंग डू रिमेम्बर दिस एस ओ एम दैट इज सेल्फ ऑर्गेनाइजिंग मैप्स इज अ वेरी पॉपुलर नेम इन आवर मेसिन लर्निंग अनसुपरवाइज लर्निंग and this self organizing map or self organizing future map is a type of artificial neural network that is trained using unsupervised learning to produce a low dimensional discretized representation of the input space of the training samples called a map so, and is therefore a method to do dimensionality reduction so you try to create a map from a high dimension to a low dimension so and for that you are taking the help of unsupervised learning based training so you are actually trying to perform some dimensionality reduction with the help of this uh, self organizing map that is okay so this self organizing map falls under unsupervised learning and if you are a research student then of course you don't do know that well, maximum times we try to compare this self organizing map with k means clustering algorithm so throw comment you tell me who should be more efficient either a self organizing map or a k means algorithm okay k means algorithm or self organizing map which is more efficient do comment your answer and one more question may be asked this self organizing map is a kind of what artificial neural network okay so don't forget it so next question is suppose you are given data about seismic activity in assam and you want to predict a magnitude on the next earthquake this is an example of option a supervised learning option b unsupervised learning option c simulation and option d dimensionality reduction your time started now see in this question you have already been given some data about the seismic activity of uh, in assam now with the help of that data you need to predict the magnitude of the next earthquake okay so from the given data so you have some knowledge about those earthquake that is being occurring in assam okay so you have knowledge about the, the this data set and with the help of that the knowledge you need to predict the next earthquakes magnitude so i have already given the hint what will be the answer yeah that is supervised learning option a so why because you know you have been given you have been provided the knowledge of the data set okay so with the help of you are trying to predict the next one so, okay so that is of course supervised learning if that knowledge is not given that data is not given um, that previous data on that seismic activity is not given then that will be obviously unsupervised learning but now we have been provided so this is a supervised learning i hope with this example the concept regarding supervised learning is clear to you now i'm moving to the next question next question is bayesian classifier is a option a any mechanism employed by a learning system to constrain the search space of a hypothesis option b a class of learning algorithm that tries to find an optimum classification of a set of examples using the probabilistic theory option c an approach to design of learning of algorithms learning algorithm that is inspired by the fact that when people encounter new situations they often explain them by reference to familiar experiences adapting the explanation to fit the new situation and option d says none of this so what will be the answer for this question and the answer to this question is option b why 
because Bayesian classifier is based on Bayes theory. Okay, Bayes theory or Bayes theorem and that is a famous probabilistic Bayes theory. So, a class of learning algorithm, this Bayesian classifier is a class of learning algorithm that tries to find an optimum classification of a set of examples using the probabilistic theory. So, this classification is based on Bayes theorem and Bayes classifiers are the statistical classifiers of course. So, Bayesian classifiers can predict class membership probabilities such as the probability that a given tuple belongs to a particular